Students, I have already uploaded separate video lectures on Shakespeare as a dramatist and Ben Jonson's contribution in the field of writing comedy of humors. But in today's lecture, we want to do a comparative study of Shakespeare and Ben Jonson in the field of drama. We know that both are on great pedestals, on great platforms. They cannot be compared with each other. Can you compare Virat Kohli with Rohit Sharma? No, they are both great players. Okay, they have their own techniques uh, of achieving greatness in cricket. In the same manner, Shakespeare is indeed a great dramatist of the Elizabethan age and Ben Johnson can also be considered an equally a great gigantic personality in the field of writing drama. As you can see on the screen, you know, Shakespeare born in 1564 died in 1616 and in the same manner, Ben Johnson born in 1572 died in 1637. So both were contemporaries, okay, and both have contributed immensely in the field of writing drama, but however, they have different styles, different techniques, and different thematic concerns in drama, and what these differences are that we want to look at in today's lecture. I have counted 10 major differences between Shakespeare and Ben Jonson. Number one, you know, Shakespeare has written more number of plays, 37 plays, and on the other hand, Ben Jonson wrote 18 complete plays. His two plays, last two plays, are incompleted. In uh, difference number two is that as far as variety of plays is concerned, you can give more marks to William Shakespeare because he wrote comedies, tragedies, tragic comedies, historical romances, and all different types of plays. But on the other hand, in case of Ben Jonson, he is mainly known for his comedies only. No doubt, he attempted writing tragedies, but he has not been so much successful. Difference number three is that, you know, uh, Shakespeare borrowed most of his stories from some foreign writers, from Italian, French or Scottish writers. But on the other hand, you can give more marks to Ben Jonson because he is an innovator. He, the stories of his plays come out from his own fertile brain. So that makes him an original writer in comparison to William Shakespeare. Difference number four, you know, no doubt Shakespeare borrows the story from other writers, but then he develops the plots in an absolutely fantastic manner. Okay, as you can see, the, the plot of a mean summer night's dream, there are six, one main plot and five subplots in this play, but all these different six threads are woven together by the eye of an artist and that is what we find in Shakespeare. He develops his plots in a fantastic manner, but as far as plot construction in Ben Jonson is concerned, you will not be so much happy and satisfied. Why? Because Ben Jonson mainly focuses on the development of character only. Another difference between Shakespeare and Ben Jonson is that Shakespeare is known as a romanticist. Okay, there is much amount of imagination in his plays, but on the other hand, in Ben Jonson's plays, you find realism and you find satire. So he is more known as a satirist and as a realist. Difference number six is that, you know, Shakespeare no doubt knows the problems, the demerits of the society, the human folly. He presents these follies, weaknesses and demerits of the society. But then, you know, Shakespeare has a humanitarian approach. He does not laugh at them. On the other hand, Ben Johnson is a hard-hearted teacher, just like a teacher who becomes very strict with his students, you know, 
Ben Johnson also tries to expose the follies and weaknesses and demerits of his society and he throws a huge satire on them in order to expose them. So no humanitarian approach is found in Ben Johnson. Another difference is that, you know, Shakespeare's plays have universal appeal. There is no bondage of time. There are no barriers of time, place, you know, in case of Shakespeare. Shakespeare was, uh, was lively in those days during the 16th and 17th century and Shakespeare has been loved and revered and respected even in 21st century. So he appeals all, all ages in all times. He entertains the children as well as the adults but in case of Ben Johnson, you know, you do not find that universal appeal. Another difference between Shakespeare and Ben Johnson is that, you know, Shakespeare, his main characters, major characters are kings, queens, princes and warriors and they come from royal family. On the other hand, Ben Johnson has presented his characters from the middle class families and from the lower class people, uh, the gamesters, the rogues, the cut purses, these are the major characters of Ben Johnson. Another thing is that, you know, Shakespeare has innovated the style of writing comedies and he popularized romantic comedies. And on the other hand, Ben Johnson was not much satisfied with this romantic approach or imaginative approach to plays and he presented comedy of humors. Okay, and the last difference between Ben Johnson and Shakespeare is that in case of Shakespeare, you find high philosophical wisdom expressed in a poetic style uh, through his tragedies and soliloquies. If you read Hamlet's to be or not to be, that is a question. It presents a, huge, a grand philosophy of life. If you read Macbeth, life is a tale told by an idiot signifying nothing. That also expresses an important philosophical wisdom uh, presented by Shakespeare, but that you do not find in case of Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson's plays are plain, realistic, satirical kind of plays where you do not find much amount of poetry, even not much amount of philosophy. So all in all, you can say Ben Johnson is great on his platform and Shakespeare is equally great on the other platform. Both are the gigantic personalities of English drama who lived during the Elizabethan and Jacobian periods.